Hey folks, and welcome back to another one. With waterfowl season right around the corner, I figured I would bring you all a video on how to use a mallard drake call. In today's video, I'm gonna be demonstrating the sound that you're gonna to wanna to make through this call when you're targeting mallards. In my opinion, the mallard drake call is one of the most important calls to have on your lanyard when you're out duck hunting, mainly because it is a call that not many people actually carry. Everybody uses the basic hen mallard call when you're hunting with buddies, everybody's using a hen mallard. Not many people actually go out of their way to use the drake mallard. And in my opinion, I've called more ducks in using a drake mallard call than a hen mallard call. And also, a big thing that not a lot of people might actually know is that mallards have two different calls depending on the gender. So male will do this. And the females will do the basic highball call, the loud quack that you're always used to. So basically you're only gonna be doing like one or two calls with this uh, particular duck call. As a drake, you're gonna be doing the basic call that they would do when they're on the water, when they're flying and whatnot, which is just the And how to do that call is you have to use your diaphragm to get that deep raspy sound. If you're not doing that, you're just gonna be sounding like this. which doesn't really work. You could use that for a teal call, but not for a drake mallard. So what you wanna do is you wanna go get it out of your lungs. Don't be blowing cold air, you wanna blow hot air with a nice raspy tone. Kinda of jiggle your throat a little bit when you're doing it. So you're gonna feel the vibration in your throat coming out of your diaphragm. So again, this is how it sounds. Into the back of the call, which won't really work because it's flat, but. So you're basically starting off with a low and then at the end. So a. So there we go. That is basically the one call that you're going to primarily use when you're using the Drake Mallard call. Like I said, I've called probably more mallards in with this call than I have with the hen call. It's just so simple and they respond to it so well because you can only match the real one call that they're gonna be making. So there we go, folks. That's all for today's video on how to use a Drake mallard call. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. And if you did, remember to leave a like down below. If you wanna see more duck call tutorials in the future, hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna be getting some more call videos out in the future, whether it be on teal, mallard, even goose and other ducks. So again, I hope you all enjoyed and take care.